Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm going to be doing a pick five glue book challenge. Um, they are challenging to say the least. Okay, so I have the Harper's Bazaar uh, February 2021. Let's ask Alexa for five page numbers. Oh, let's see how many are in here first. 134. Okay. Alexa, give me a number between 1 and 134. Your random number between 1 and 134 is 25. 25. Here's a number between 134 and 1. It's 100 cells. I said that backwards, but that's okay. She still did it. Got 99 problems, but a beep ain't one. Alexa, give me a number between 1 and 134. Your random number between 1 and 134 is 131. Wow, she's picking high numbers. Your random number between 1 and 134 is 102. Okay, so those are my five numbers, 25, 112, 99, 131, and 102. Yikes. Okay, so this is my notebook that I keep my pick fives in. I use um, a piece of black cardstock, and then on the back I put the date, the magazine name, the issue, and then the numbers used. And so far I've used the same numbers every single time. Oh wait, I didn't on this one, I used different one. I used different numbers, but I think on these two I used the same, yeah. These two I used the same. Okay, so let's put this aside. Let's find out where number page 25 is. Well, there's 22, here's 25. Oh gosh, ah! Ugh. Okay, all right, well there's 25 find 99 wait I saw a page number there's 90 there's a hundred 99 okay and 112 are there any numbers back here here's 114 113 so 112 ooh Ooh, okay. Um, oh, I didn't take 102, or did I? Did I already do 102? 98, and then I took out 99, 100. So this is 101, this is 102. Okay. Now I need 131. Here's 134, 33, 32, and 131. Whoa, okay. All right, so Harper's Bazaar. Please give me the creative juju to make an awesome pick five page. Okay, so I got that part out of the way. Got to pray to the, the crafting gods. Got my piece of eight and a half by 11 black cardstock. Okay, so let's pick what we have here. So I like this, not so much that. Okay, I like her, ooh, but I like her too. Love her. Okay, I got a lot of like women. Okay, so I definitely like the pink better. What do I have here? All black. Okay, wait, does it say anything? No. Okay, so I have to look at these a little bit. I really love this page. I don't actually want to use it, but I will. I'm looking to see if there's kind of like this word shape shifting. I think I will cut that out. so crazy when you first start out 
you know, doing this because you really have no idea where your mind is going to take you. <laughs> so first, it's like, I'm not going to lie, like I get anxiety, I get a little scared because I'm like, oh, where is this going to go? What's it going to look like in the end? But okay, so we'll save that. I'm not going to save this little piece, but I do save my scraps. Um, okay, so I've got that and then... Hmm. I'm not sure yet. No words. And what's on the back of this one? Any good? Um. Okay, so let's cut out conversation put that over there and then I liked do I want the arrival of Aquafina because isn't this Aquafina right here that's Aquafina no I don't want to make it all about her okay so I'm not going to do that Maybe I'll do the arrival. The arrival. Uh, well, I'm just gonna cut out the whole thing in case I do decide to make it about her. Cause then I can just take out the arrival cause that's kind of what I was thinking is. Um. I don't need that piece. Okay, so what do I want to be my main focal piece? That's kind of how I'm thinking right now. Like, what do I want my main focal image to be? And honestly, I really like her. And I really like her. Okay. So let's just kind of get started. For my pick five, I really like tearing paper. I don't know. I just like it. One, it's relaxing. And two, you just don't know what you're going to get. And I feel like uh, when I do my backgrounds, it just makes it more organic when I have torn pages. Now, I don't plan on keeping these, but I'm going to throw them over here off to the side in case I do need them. Because you never know. Okay, so I tore up that page into smaller pieces because really I just want to use it as a background for color. And I'm going to do the same thing with this image here. really want her pink so all my scraps that I I haven't used I'm putting to the left here or that I'm not planning on using as of now that could change obviously
save her in case I want to use her. Okay, so now I'm going to start gluing these down. And I'm going to keep them in two separate piles so I pull from each. Okay.
Hey guys, I'm back. So in this process, what I'm doing right now is going through all my scraps and I'm looking for any kind of little words that I can add to this. Um, since those words that were at the top ended up being duplicate words, apparently all those people in the back had the same jobs and I wasn't paying attention when I was cutting them out. So I'm just kind of looking for words. I found this piece and I'm like, oh yeah. Let's cut that up and put it on there. So that's what I'm doing, moving all that aside. This is why it's really important to keep your scraps when you're doing a pick five because it's crazy how much you'll end up using the little itsy bitsy pieces that you find. Okay, and that right there says, I started to remember. So now I put that there and it says, I started to remember the arrival of shape shifting. And now I'm just kind of digging through my scraps to see if there's anything else that I want to use. Still looking at that piece of paper because I'm like, ooh, are there any more words on there? So I think I found a couple more. And then I started wrapping this project up. I love doing a pick five glue book. But I'm going to be totally honest, I get so freaked out in the beginning because I'm like, uh, what is this going to turn out like? But the important thing to remember and what I try and remind myself every time is who cares? <laughs> who cares what it looks like? It's for fun. It's just a collaging exercise to get you to think outside the box. So if it looks like crap, who cares? I mean, honestly, first of all, you don't have to show it to anybody and it's okay if you don't like it. There's, you know, some that I don't really care for, but you know, it's, it's a fun exercise to get me to think outside of the box. And maybe I find something while I'm doing this that I really like that I can use in my collage and glue book projects in the future. You know what I mean? So I, I really enjoy this exercise, even though it does give me anxiety, but then again, like what doesn't give me anxiety? Um, but yeah, it's a really fun exercise to make you think outside the box. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't like the way your page looks. It's totally, totally okay. And you have to remember, you're using pieces that you're kind of forced, in quotes, to use. These aren't pictures that you picked, right? So if it doesn't turn out good, you probably didn't have very much to work with. You know what I mean? So I kind of wanted to put something up in that corner. So I just cut up some of the scrap papers that I had and I made a little flower. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, I wanted to do more, but I felt like I didn't really have anything else I could put on the page. And it was really bothering me. So I'm like, I'm just going to put a flower up here. I don't know. Just one of those things, guys. Just one of those things. And it actually doesn't look half bad. I made sure that the petals were like kind of wonky and none were exactly the same, which is hard for me because I like things to be perfect and exactly the same. So that right there was a good exercise for me in trying to use something in a way that I normally don't and to be okay with it not being perfect. I just needed something in that corner. Just a little something, something. Then I decided my little middle piece wasn't big enough. I wanted a bigger middle piece. <laughs> I don't know. You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. All in all, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. Um... I, I did have a lot to work with, but at the same time, I kind of didn't, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I just kind of struggled a little bit, but in the end, I'm really happy with what happened. And you know what? I had a really, really good time while I was doing it. So that's all that matters. I really love that lady on the left. I just think she's so pretty and I love all the color in this, um, in this piece. And then I still have that little face and I'm like, I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm just going to stick it up against here. <laughs> She's like, just peeking out. <laughs> like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> I 
I'm a shapeshifter too. <laughs> so here I am. I'm getting, I'm wrapping it up now. I'm going to clean up my little mess and show you guys my project. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's not bad. I like it. I had so much fun doing it and that's all that matters. So now I'm going to show you all the scraps that I have left out of five pages. Really, that's not that much. It's more, I think, than I've had in any pick five glue book. Here's the numbers again, 25, 112, 99, 130. Oh gosh. Well, you saw them. I'll put them in the description box down below. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day today. It's a great day to have a great day. So let's make the best of it. Until next time, bye.